We expected the focus this afternoon to be on the vote for a new speaker. Instead, a group of protesters have taken over the Cannon office building and the surrounding area. Let's go live to our Adam Longo, who's been on Capitol Hill all day today. And Adam, bring us up to speed here. What's happening? All right, so Simone, first things first, the Cannon office building is no longer occupied by these protesters. I've got two different things I'm going to show you. First to over here, this is Independence Avenue. A number of protesters have blocked Independence Avenue. They marched up from the mall. They have been out here since about 315. They're gathered peacefully, holding signs, chanting, free Palestine, not in our name. So a number of them are right there. There are some speakers uh, addressing the crowd. Capitol Police is just letting them live and let live at this point. But over here, look right here. You see these folks in the black shirts that say, Jews say cease fire now. These are a group of more than 100 people who were arrested after coming inside of the Cannon Office Building Rotunda, causing a, a disturbance, according to Capitol Police, uh, putting up a banner. Here comes uh, somebody new out of Office Building, uh, right over here to the left, Mike. And uh, much to the applause of some of the supporters uh, that you're seeing right here. So let's take you to some video from inside of Cannon and show you what that looked like when this protest scene unfolded. It would have been just about three o'clock this afternoon. Now, I asked somebody because all of the folks who are coming out here are under arrest at this point. They are wearing t shirts that on the front are emblazoned and they say, not in our name. So I'm told that this is a group of mainly Jewish protesters and they are protesting the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, and their attacks. And what this protest protest group is calling their genocide on the people of Gaza. So they continue to chant free Palestine. Uh, they think that what the uh, Israeli forces are doing uh, in, in the Palestinian held territory is unconscionable. And that's the point that they're trying to get across. Got some video here from outside as well, showing on the one side of police tape, we have the protesters who are uh, zip tied behind their backs. We're told from Capitol Police they are going to be taken off site. You see these vans here. Let's walk down the street, Mike, a little bit. You see these they're going to be put in these vans and then taken off-site where Capitol Police tell us they're going to be cited and released. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to give you a different vantage point in just a second. But first, I want to take you to some sound that we got from one of the protesters out here who was on this side of the tape, who was literally watching as her friend on the other side of the tape was in zip ties and about to be put in the van. Listen to what she had to say about why they're out here tonight. Just to get the message to Congress that we shouldn't be part of this genocide and to, you know, make it clear that they don't speak for all Jewish people, um, you know, when they support the conflict. So, um, you know, we weren't sure if they were going to arrest us, but we were willing to get arrested if that's what it took. All right, so as we come back here live, what you're seeing right here is we are along New Jersey Avenue. You see this woman right here has actually just walked in front of the police tape. I don't think the uh, Capitol Police officers are going to like that, and like that that much, no, and they're coming over here uh, to address her. Thank you. All right, so just saying if it comes across the uh, the police line that they, they will, in fact, be arrested. Now, Mike, come over here because I, I want to get you to a space because obviously this is a huge story that's happening here along New Jersey Avenue right now. But we also want to get you caught up to speed on what's happening in the speaker's race because that's the reason that we were here this afternoon when this protest broke out and came up Independence Avenue. So here's the deal. We were in the, in the House Gallery at 1130 this morning when this vote started, right? So Jim Jordan, we have a graphic we can show you here of the vote totals. Jim Jordan, as predicted from some of the Republicans, Republicans and Democrats I spoke to yesterday actually lost ground. So he lost four additional votes that he had yesterday, but then picked up two. So then the vote total was 199 for Jordan, 212 for Hakeem Jeffries, and 22 votes against Jim Jordan. We're hearing from our reporting partners at CBS News uh, that there will not be another vote for speaker tonight. No third round of voting tonight. We're also hearing about some other measures that might that might come along in the future. But listen, the Republican conference is frankly in a great deal of disarray. Talking to a number of sources up here, including one just a few minutes ago before I went on air. No one really knows, Simone, what the next step is going to be for this conference. I wanted just to talk about the chanting Peace that we're hearing now. behind you. Does it seem mostly Peace peaceful? Give us, give us more of a, give us a bigger view here Peace of what, what exactly now. you're seeing. Sure. So it's absolutely, Mike, go ahead and swing the camera. It's absolutely been a peaceful protest. I mean, they're here with signs. They have their chants. They are making their point and their presence felt here, but there has been absolutely not that I've seen uh, any violence, any scuffles between capital it would seem that, and you heard from the, the soundbite that we just offered you there from one of the women whose friends was arrested, that they went in there with the point of making this protest inside the Cannon office building. They didn't know 
that they were going to be arrested. They suspected they might be, but as you can see, they, they left the building peacefully, and they are peacefully standing here in line, where they've been standing out here for about an hour, waiting to be put in these Capitol Police vans that are lined up along New Jersey Avenue to be taken to another location and then sighted and then released. Simone? All right, Adam, we'll be checking in with you. Thank you. And for some further context here, the Cannon office has several House committee offices in there, congressional offices as well. Adam, thank you so much for your reporting, and, and we'll be checking in.